All right, we'll start with a look at how the health insurer stocks are doing this morning. Uh, most of them are on the upside. This, of course, follows the unveiling of the Obamacare replacement plan. There is some bickering, obviously. That may get in the way of the plan, but the health insurers mostly, well, now they're, t they're pretty much flat this morning. Our next guest says, you better stop this infighting and fix the Obamacare mess. Dr. Kevin Campbell joins us. He is an accomplished cardiologist. Cardiologist, <laughs> you perform operations, open heart, the whole bit, right? So I do pacemakers and defibrillators, and I do ablations for atrial fib. So you reach into a man's or a lady's chest, and you put stuff in, and you fix hearts. Yes, sir. Fix sick hearts. Do heart. you think that we must, absolutely must, reform Obamacare, get rid of it, and replace it? I think it is absolutely got to happen. If we don't, it's going to continue to implode. What makes me angry is that all of this legislation, the good, the bad, the ugly, hurts patients. It separates doctors from from patients, limits access, increased costs. We have to do something so that I can do my job and care for my patients. So your experience as a cardiologist in the field, literally doing your job, your experience is negative with Obamacare. Absolutely. What what, what's, the, what's the worst thing about it for, from your point of view? Because of the deductibles and the co payments and all the things that are involved in that, patients avoid getting care. Even though they're listed on the role of being insured, they avoid getting care because they can't afford the deductible. So they go and end up in the emergency room with a heart attack or a, or a very difficult situation rather than things that we can prevent as we go along. I'm reading through the notes here and you really do not like the employer mandate. What's wrong with that? So I think the employer mandate does a couple of things. It hurts the very people that it was designed to protect. So these employers are now cutting workers back to part-time status so that they don't have to pay the penalty if they don't provide the insurance. Which means you've got folks that are marginally making an income, making a living, that can't get the hours they need to be full time. See, we could discuss ad nauseam the different plans and the different ways of fixing Obamacare, but I wanted you, and you did, to just tell us from your point of view, a practicing heart doctor, let me put it like that, you don't like Obamacare. Change it. You got to change it. Yes? We absolutely have to change it. We have to do something because the bottom line is my job is to take care of patients. I need the government out of my operating room. I need the government out of my exam room so that I can take care of my patients who need it. You sound like a North Carolina conservative to me. Yes, sir, I am. There you go. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Campbell, thank you very much indeed, sir. We appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir.